Hi guys, so I am continuing right on Joshua chapter 13, the King James Version. After all that fighting, so many years of fighting, it's taken a toll on Joshua. Age has taken a toll on Joshua. Let's read on. Let's read the Word of God and see what happened. Come on, grab your Bibles. Come on on this journey with me. The children of Israel have been taking possessions of the land that the Lord, or God, had promised them. So come on, let's read and continue to see what happened. Joshua chapter 13, the King James Version. It says, and now Joshua was old and stricken in years. <laughs> and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth. All the borders of the Philistines and all Geshuri mm, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanites, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathite and the Ashdotites and the Eshkalonites, and the Gittites, and the Ekronites, and also the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and the Miara. This is beside the Sidonians, unto Afek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Giblites, and all Lebanon, toward the sun rising from Bealgad unto Mount Her Hermon unto the entering into ha Harmon excuse me unto the entering into Hamath and all the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon unto Mesrephothamim and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto, thy, unto the nine tribes and the half tribe of Manasseh with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them be beyond Jordan, eastward, even as Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them from our Or, that is upon the bank of the river Armon, Am Ammon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Mediba, unto Diban, and all the cities of Sion, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon. And Gilead, and the border of Geshurites, and Meachatites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan, unto Salka. All the kingdoms of Og, of in Bashan, which reigned in Astaroth, and in Edri, which who remained of the remnant of the giants. For these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not. The Geshurites, nor the Meachatites, But the Geshurites and the Meachathites dwell among the children, among the Israelites, until this day. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord 
God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Aroer, that is on the bank of the river Ammon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain by Mediba, Heshbon, and all her cities that are in the plain, Diban, and Bathmobeal, and Beth Bealmian, and Jaheza, and Kedimot, and Mephaeath, and Kergachetim, and Sibmath, and Zareth Shab Shahar in the midst of the valley. And Bet Pure, and Ashdor Pisca, and Bet Jeshimat, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sion, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Mid Midian, Evi, and Rechim, and Zur, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sion, dwelling in the country. Balaam also, the son of Beor, the soothsayer, mm, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto Ar or Ur, that is before Reba. And from Heshbon unto Remat Mispe and Bethonim, and from Mahanim unto the border of Debir, and in the land of Betharam and Bethnima and Sokoth and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sion, king of Heshbon, Jordan, and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Chenereth unto the other side, Jordan, eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of God after their families, the cities and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto half the tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mah Mahanaim or Bashan or the kingdom of Ar, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jer, which are in Bashan, three score cities, and half Gilead, and Astaroth, and Edri, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir, by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab on the other side Jordan by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. Thus ends the reading of Joshua chapter 13. Again, I am moving on to chapter 14, and you can join me if you like. Thank you for reading the Word of God with me. Come on, let's read the Word of God. We wouldn't miss anything if we read the Word of God. So come on, let's get in. Let's read. Hallelujah.